2006 26th Street where we have the weekly middle child meetings and we're hanging out with the guys from Ivory and Ash. How's it going? Pretty good. So, uh, all right. It's just all right. Straight chilling. I'm, um, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves, what you guys play. My name is John and I play guitar. Right. My name is Race and I play guitar and play vocals. My name is Geraldo Cisneros and I play bass guitar. And who's uh, not here for people? Drums. <laughs> Drums. <laughs> Drums couldn't make it today. Gotcha. And uh, <laughs> <Nate>. <laughs> Let's not leave it there. Devon Fields. Big drum. Devon's like, damn it. <laughs> so you guys have uh, had some lineup changes since Irene Ash started. Who did, uh, used to be in it that used to play with you? Uh, Christopher Walker, Nicole, Diane Beatty. <laughs> For starters, <laughs> uh, Jesse, Sandifer, drums. Play drums. Dave Bertman, uh, saxophone. Saxophone, but occasionally bass. Okay, so, and then now you guys are a four piece. Uh, how long have you guys been playing this four piece? This, you know, Devon and everybody here. The lineup we have now, um, since. August, right? August, but it's been a four piece for two years or so. Yes. Uh, two Augusts is before. Uh, two Augusts is <laughs> But the, li the current lineup with, with Geraldo playing bass yeah. with, since about August. And before we start talking about what y'all are doing currently with this project, did you have any media out there or any releases that were released with Jesse or Dave that people can check out online? Yeah, the, the full length that we have, the only full length, is Devon, myself, and Jesse. Uh, Devon was playing bass at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you guys what do you guys have out there right now that people can check out? Our, uh, our EP is the only thing besides videos, I think. Yeah, we have the, the EP, which has Chris on it. it uh, Chris is playing bass on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the EP and the full length, and then we have some music videos online and a bunch of live videos from different shows or things like that. Yeah, there's people, uh, there's the, I think there's one people can check out on Copa Twelve Films, the, the first uh, South Plain Sessions, right, with uh, uh, Dry Eaves and you guys, and I can't remember who else was on that. Yeah, there's that one with the Diamond Center and Dry Eaves mm -hmm. and a few other people. And y'all have some music videos too, right? Uh, and then there's... Uh, two music videos, and then there's a South Point session with Just Race outside of the one with the full band, um, and then there's, like I said, there's tons of live footage from that people just taken at shows. Where do people go to check that out? Um, if they go to our YouTube page, uh, just search Ivory and Ash, and you can click on the Ivory and Ash band YouTube page, and if it's not uploaded on ours, you can we've liked every video we've been in, so you can see it from there. Or you can find a lot of them through either, the, either our Facebook or um, <coughs> the official ones that, that Daniel shot through Cobble Duava, you can find through the Cobble Duava website, which would be easier if you just go to ballardfilm.com. Sorry, no, it's ballardfilm.com. Okay, definitely check that out. And Daniel Ballard does a lot to help everybody out with video. He does video for you guys, and he does music, uh, South Plains sessions you should also check out, and also does the cat, which you're involved in. So definitely check out those websites, and we'll post it in a chat for people who are uh, who are listening. But let's talk a little bit about your previous releases, uh, the the EP, God Bless Your Bloody Ears. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, uh, what's that, I mean, Race, you do a lot of the writing, I'm sure, like when it comes to lyrics and stuff like that. What is uh, kind of that EP about, or maybe the songs, or what does it focus on, man? Uh, those are <clears throat> a lot of stories, uh, well, not a lot, because there's only four songs. <laughs> but it's about four stories. <laughs> it's exactly four stories. Yeah. Oh, uh, give or take. <laughs> that are that are not not things that have happened to me personally, but uh, just people people I've known uh, and, and kind of about like growing up where I grew up. In a, in a small town where you know everyone and know everything that happened.
happens to yeah. to people and you know uh, a lot of you know life and death just what everyone else writes about <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it now y'all for a while they were living in different cities but you now live in Lubbock right but uh, how are y'all swinging that like living in different cities and right now or I guess writing the EP or writing tunes and performing doing all that we would do um, like one week because half the band was here in Lubbock and half the band was essentially in, in Abilene I mean Grace lived a little bit south of Abilene but essentially half Abilene, half Lubbock, and uh, we would do one week of practices in Lubbock and then the next week of practices in Abilene, and then back and forth between the two cities. Um, That's some dedication. But, uh, yeah. That's some gas money. <laughs> it is some yeah. gas money. Oops. But it's something we all talked about, like, enjoying playing music with the people we're playing music with and then really enjoying the music we were actually making that if you got to drive, if you got to spend four hours in a car for, you know, one five hour practice a week or whatever for something you really love, then it's it's worth it versus, you know, doing something you kind of like in a town with, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, when you're sitting down, you're getting shit done. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so we're just... We're pretending that we were getting <laughs> shit done. <laughs> yeah. Coming away from it that night being like, whatever happened, we got some shit done. Yeah. But luckily now everybody's coming up so hopefully that that um, one giant practice becomes three or four average size practices and we'll have time to focus more on the things we want to focus on like uh, harmonies and uh, guitar harmonies and vocal yeah. harmonies and uh, trying to make the songs a little bit more musically complex and you guys are playing for people who are listening who don't know uh, they're playing this Saturday, this interview will be broadcast the day of, so they're playing uh, tonight at uh, the Depot District Oak Bar for the Drag Eves album release show. Uh, are you guys going to be playing uh, playing stuff off God Bless Your Bloody Years and anything new, or do you have anything, songs you've been working on that people haven't heard a lot that you might be jamming? Yeah, uh, <coughs> we're playing one new song, and then... Uh, stuff from the EP uh, and then like just some other I guess the classics the classics uh, huh. yeah the box set the box set and mostly the trilogy <laughs> 70s 80s 90s and today <laughs> those as well the fetus years yeah yeah, yeah. Well, we've got real short songs <laughs> But uh, that, yeah, there there will definitely be uh, some. I mean, we've played some of it at a few shows, but uh, it, it's pretty new to most people. Yeah. Yes. Since you guys have some new material, are you working on anything uh, for 2013? Definitely. What are you working on? Yeah, we want to. Uh, uh, we've got a collection of songs that just. I think we have three that are really close to, to being completely finished, you know. But uh, we're going to try to do a an EP, hopefully four or five songs, uh, mm -hmm. if all goes well, like start recording in March or so. And are you doing the recording yourself? Because I know some of the engineering on the previous one, right, you, you did a lot of that. Yeah, the the album and EP was self done. Um, hopefully not. I despise <laughs> doing it. Like I don't like doing it at all. I don't like hearing our shit that much, like that many times in a row mixing it. And when you it play, just, it's like you can take a step outside yourself now, and you can see yourself playing it. You've heard yeah, it so many times. Yeah, dude, it, it's not fun at all. I want to play. You know, I want to play shows, and and I, I I like recording the parts, but I do not like what comes after that. You what know? do you feel whenever you produce stuff at your house that, you know, by when you're producing stuff on your own mm -hmm. as a band, you know, what sort of struggles or what do you run into that takes up a lot of time? Uh, mainly the equipment <laughs> that I have is ancient and uh, just. Ob 
obsolete. Honestly, there's not a lot you can do with Would you record it. on? And I suck <laughs> is the other part of it. Uh, I struggle with that daily. People are out there holding God bless your buddy ears. Right. This, he sucks. I enjoyed it. No, they're going to be like, I enjoyed oh, this. So don't be so self-deprecating. The, the, the life they like. Yeah. <laughs> and that, I definitely appreciate that Like for people who do like it. And I, I love it. I do love it. Never mind. <laughs> what did you re- What did you record on though? Like uh, that was. Uh, I have kind of a. That makes it tough. Floppy disk. Yeah, I have <laughs> it's a, two it's floppy drive. disk drives that we do. Uh, one of them we do all the vocals, <laughs> and then the other floppy disk drive we do uh, all of the, the music. Then you go to your elementary school to mix it down, right? Right, Where and you then can only find those Macs. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Correct. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. No, that's sick. That's how you get that sound. I think that, <laughs> that's how, that's how you suck. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that the the biggest part of doing everything ourselves and going on to try to track with someone new and, and get in, in there is that it's hard to be extremely critical of your own, like of what yeah. everybody else is doing when it's your music or you can be overcritical of something you know and there may be things that need to be fixed that you miss because you're you know it's your song and you're not paying attention to that part is everybody that you're thinking about helping you engineer it here in town or in your studio you guys are like that's where I might yeah. want to do it at uh, we're I mean at this point we're almost positive that we're tracking with Patrick in, in March um, and at uh, Music Park Studios uh, we're actually doing it in his uh, the uh-huh. come and take it the his he has built a studio into his basement which oh, is okay. really nice he's done a bunch of stuff down there that sounded really good I think we're going to track it all there and uh, have him mix it and then send it off to any chance people could, could get some of that elephant armor around. stuff that's just lying around um, well that isn't on pa- like I've asked Patrick about it <laughs> it's at a music park or something yeah, it's it's a uh, trying to get it. Uh, he's got to talk. I'm not. If we, uh, Corey's gonna be listening, so he's gonna get up and go over there. Well, I mean, I just don't want to. It's not. It's not that. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> Scott and his wife are super nice people, and yeah. you know, uh, from when we were doing the elephant armor thing, we technically still owe them a little bit of money on it, so that's understandable that they're not just gonna no, give it cool. to us. But it's cool. Uh, they. I, I don't, I'm not saying anything against those people, but. They had it, and they're not just going to give it to us. They're going to give them money. If everybody wants to hear Elf and Armor out, out there, you know, mail John one dollar each to <laughs> his address. I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> mail it to <laughs> mail it to Scott and say it. So Scott's going to be like, "Why am I getting a bunch of one dollar bills?" <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I, I've asked Patrick because even if I'm saying I know that Corey and I have expressed the same sentiment, like yeah. it would be nice just to get him to listen to even if I was the only person that ever yeah. heard that last recording we ever did that'd be nice and if people are at a loop on like what we're talking about John and Geraldo used to play in Elephant Armor together but Reyes also used to play in a band called Jonica with uh, David Greider right that's that's how you pronounce his yep, name that's exactly right and, uh, and Jesse so those might be ran those tracks you could probably MySpace search uh, both of those bands Jonica and I can't remember how to spell Jonica but uh, and I mean, this this is it is this is really uh, it's on this topic, but kind of off topic from other stuff. If you did want to hear something from Elephant Armor, and this has to do with race, uh, first thing and the only thing that I direct people to is there's a video that Ray shot of us playing uh, one of our last shows in Austin, and it's the last song we wrote, and it's probably the best thing that we ever did, and it's decent sound quality. You'll have the zombie video, don't you? Yeah, Daniel's shot that. Yeah, yeah. Is that on a couple twelve films too? On the Vimeo? Okay, definitely check that out. So, plenty of content for people to check out. Any plans on touring or doing anything uh, this summer? Yes. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Definitive. There's no... We have absolutely no... Shows, shows books yet. Or anything. Yeah. But, but it would be but, Yeah, for yeah, sure. We, we definitely want to get out. Keep reaching for that beard. <laughs> but, uh. 
the, the plan is to try to go from here to, to Georgia or North Carolina and back or so. That'd be awesome. But uh, we haven't actually started, but hopefully soon, or the plan is June-ish. You guys have toured before. Is there anything absurd that's happened to you? Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, not, not to me or... Just one of the... I think uh, that the crazy... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're going to say. You're, are you all thinking about the same thing? I, I, it might be. Yeah, I the think same that, several things. Like. My favorite part is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Which one was it? The first? This the, is oh, 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 you're yeah. thinking of the second one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's my fault. I called the cops. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell that one because he's right here. <laughs> what is that? Uh, we were we driving were to try to sneak in to go swim in this river really late one night. That you had to sneak into a river. Well, it was past when it was closed. It was like no. three in the morning or something. And uh, the car in front of us had some friends that had driven down to see the show, and they got pulled over. And G had had a one or two adult beverages. And he was like freaking out in the back seat. And we're racing. I were like, "What's wrong?" And he was like, "It's my fault. That I got pulled over. I called the cops." And I'm like, "No, you didn't, dude. You've been right here. You don't even know where you are." And he's like, "No, I did it. I called the cops." Then I puked uh, Little Caesars up by yeah. the trash can. He he jumped out of the car. <laughs> Number one, like, I guess he felt so bad he was trying to end his life, but he jumped out of the car. And then went in the alley and puked, and there was a, like a cop passed us when we were pulled over. But yeah, he he thought it was all his fault. Yeah. Did you wake up the next day still feeling that? I still feel like it's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he had his phone on him at that point. Probably, probably not. not. He definitely didn't take it out and call the cops on him. Now that's good, but there's a hint, there's a hint at something else that went down. Uh, it seems like an extreme. No, 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 nothing extreme. It's just I don't want to in, embarrass anyone. It's just silly, yeah, normal stuff. All right, embarrass but, anyone that's yeah. not here to defend themselves. But there, there were on the first one on the first tour that we did with Elephant Armor. Really funny story, and then the second one was really funny as well. <laughs> but can't go into it. Can't go into it. Oh, there was the watching. <laughs> Watching Geraldo, Corey, uh, Jake Hamill, who's a friend of ours, and Devon eat hell burgers, which are like covered in ghost peppers. Yeah, that, that was pretty awesome. And like Corey and Geraldo and Jake were like flipping out and chugging water and about to cry, and their faces were like a red that I'd never seen before. <laughs> and then you turn to Devon, and he's just like, yeah, dude. I mean, it was hot. <laughs> but like, no, not even a bead of sweat. Like, just, I mean, yeah, it's hot, I guess. But like, I thought, I thought Geraldo was gonna have to go to the hospital for, yeah, but for extreme handsiness. You get the bad luck. You get the bad luck card on the road. Yeah, Geraldo. <laughs> you choked yourself. <laughs> you choked yourself. <laughs> He's trying to choke himself out. Any embarrassing story. Try to choke yourself. With. When he ate that thing again, <laughs> pretty sure he was trying to end his life. <laughs> uh, Hellburger. Oh, that should have been a red flag. Hellburger. <laughs> I didn't think. Oh yeah, he did have to eat. They had to sign a waiver to eat it. Yeah. Because it was so hot. You were you serious? Yeah. 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 I didn't put my real name. He <laughs> 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 put Donald Duck, I think. No, but like. Stonewall Jackson or something. something dumb. Stonewall Jackson? <laughs> He'll eat a hell burger. Yeah, he would eat a hell burger. I had to get into like that that mode, dude. Yeah. That like, Stonewall mode. Stonewall. <laughs> Taking on the Union. <laughs> He's gotta get into Gerardo Butler mode. <laughs> if I was Stonewall Jackson, I'll eat anything. <laughs> that's that's a good thing to that Rocks. we'll end it on that right there. <laughs> Um, I appreciate you guys doing the interview. Uh, is there any shows coming up, of course, after the show uh, this Saturday, which people listening, it's tonight. Don't let us confuse you because it's pre-recorded, but is there anything after that you'll have scheduled at all? The only other thing in the relative <coughs> future in Lubbock is the uh, February 9th for the Philip Womper yeah, yeah, memorial, the memorial show. show. Okay. And 
and I, I'm not sure if Tyler has a venue announced for that, but it, there's definitely a bit um, on that people can uh, uh, check out. Um, but we look forward to the show, guys, and uh, you'll have some merchandise there people can buy or some EPs. Yeah, we'll have uh, some shirts for sale and uh, on the EP. <laughs> what? For the EP? Oh, yeah. yeah the EPs will be free. Free EPs. to take and Free EPs. Like, yeah. That's awesome. Free piece. Yeah. Free piece. All right. Uh, I think our shirts are like a couple bucks max. So free pee and a shirt. Then a couple of 20s. <laughs> Straight to the A couple of bucks and a dude named Max. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, where's Max? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the interview. People who are listening, be sure to stick around because we'll have a, a live session. Uh, after this uh, segment, we if you also were listening earlier on the interview, we'd have another song by Ivor Nash that we introed with. So definitely, uh, definitely check it out. Those will be available on Pure, I'm uh, sorry, I was going to say Pure Volume, SoundCloud. Uh, they're available on SoundCloud for free download if you guys are cool with that. It's not y'all's uh, music, it would be the, just a live session. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, those will yeah, be yeah, available yeah. for free yeah, download. Yeah. And... Uh, we have plans to release a live compilation album sometime in February or March, so if you uh, want a physical copy of that, just uh, check out MetalShotRecordings.com and stay up what we're doing. Um, I'd like to thank Dylan for filming tonight and Daniel Ballard from Cobble Tawaba for doing some film too, and thank you guys for doing the interview. Absolutely, thank you, man. Okay, now real quick before we do the, the session, if you want to do... Hold